protests are again back on the streets of Manipur. Eight individuals have been injured in massive demonstrations last night and also 23 people arrested so far. The security personnel of the Manipur Police and Central Security Forces are working to de-escalate the matters. However, the public is angry and they are on the streets protesting. The civil society organizations such as the Kokomi has called in for a sit-in demonstrations demanding the justice. The main issue is the fallout of the Jiribam incident. Now what happened in Jiribam has shocked the state of Manipur. Firstly, there was a lady charged to death, then later 10 people who died. The later police call, it, they call them armed militants. But the recent incidents of six individuals belonging from the Mete community who were abducted, their bodies have been found suspected to be in a river near the Assam-Manipur border. And following this incident where their bodies have been recovered, this has caused a domino effect in the Manipur Valley. The public is on the streets demanding an end to this conflict. The chief minister's residence was also targeted. The MLA's houses were also targeted. This comes as the public is angry and on the streets protesting and showing their resentment against the issues that are happening in Manipur. The security forces along with the likes of the Assam Rifles and other central security forces are working to stop the violence and control the law and order situation. APSPA has already been reimposed in six areas which was earlier exempted. So these developments are coming but there is growing resentment among the public. They are also demanding a withdrawal of the AFSPA and also they are protesting against the recent instances of violence that we have seen. So Manipur is again going back to square one wherein last year we saw instances of violence and arson and vandalism on the streets of Manipur and again it is coming back to those similar uh, equations. However, the C Central Security Forces are actively monitoring the situation and they are trying to de-escalate any more sort of conflict that might emerge as things stand the situation is really tense in the conflict-torn state of Manipur.